Hello, I'm Ashley Bradnam. Welcome to Head to Head and our tireless hunt for Australia's greatest sporting mind. Last week, Rajesh Singh made a strong claim for the title, securing the head-to-head -head championship belt. This week, Raj is back to defend the title against a new challenger. Thanks to ABC Shop, success in head-to-head -head could also land our competitors some amazing prizes. The winner of Series 1 will be off to the AFL Grand Final, and the overall winner of head-to-head -head on that famous first Saturday in December. No one's told me why it's famous, by the way. We'll be flying off to London for the Wimbledon finals. Each week, our competitors will battle over four quarters of sports questions. We will uh, start with general knowledge before we explore our competitors' special subjects, champion and challenger, then assume the buzzers, and we go head to head to sort out who gets to take home the champion's belt. Let's get on with it, folks. Let's meet our first competitors, returning champion, Rajesh Singh. <laughs> Rajesh is from Evandale, South Australia. Apart from winning sports quizzes, he loves to bat. How have you been hitting them this week, Raj? Yeah, not too bad, mate. Uh, yeah, I mate, um, uh, made a few runs uh, last week, so it's been good. You've been here for a few weeks now. How many victories have you secured on head to head? Oh, I think it's three or four. Yeah. Do you think you could be Australia's greatest sporting trivia? No, I don't mind? actually. I think there's <laughs> Raj. <laughs> no, there's, positive attitude. No, there's been some uh, good contestants. I think I'm uh, lucky to still be here, but enjoying every minute of it. Raj has got a great ability to come home with a wet sail. He was on fire last week. It was a great contest. Let's bring on your opponent this week. <laughs> Our challenger tonight is Daniel Viles, a student from Carindale in Queensland. His unlikely sporting hero is former South African fast bowler, fast Barney de Villiers. Hello, Daniel. Evening, Ashley. Welcome along to the show. Thank you. Fast Farney de Villiers. Have you got South African heritage there at all? I don't, but if you take my surname and extend it and Africanise it and all the rest of it, you end up with de Villiers. So there's a fair connection there. Can I work that one out when I get home? Please, please do. I'll lead your dictionary. You can have it all, all the time you need. Daniel, have you been following Raj's progress? I have. He's been a very good champion, although he does come from the same state as Leighton Hewitt, so I think he could crack under pressure. Oh, ouch. <laughs> Sledging on the show, folks. Personally, I'm a big fan for it. Raj, any chance of a come on tonight if you win? <laughs> no, not my style. It's not my style. <laughs> Send it off in Daniel's direction. This is going to be a good one tonight, folks. I'm looking forward to it. Let's rip in. Time to get started. Let's play the first quarter of Head to Head. Yeah. And a nice gentle start it is too. Ten questions. They're either multiple choice or true or false. One point for a correct answer. No penalty whatsoever for a wrong answer. And Raj, as champion, you know what you have to do. Hit the hot seat. A little bit of sledging. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? <laughs> Raj is like the silent assassin. I've, I've discovered he's, he's very controlled, but he possesses this lethal quality. And when the pressure is on, he's able to plunge the knife in. So watch out, Daniel. <laughs> Could be coming your way tonight. You've got an ambitious streak there, Raj, I know. Good luck. Ten Thanks. questions Thank to you. kick us off. Here we go, mate. What is the name of the cup presented to the winning state in the men's eight at the Australian Rowing Championships? A, the King's Cup. B, the Queen's Cup. C, Prime Minister's Cup. D, President's Cup. A. Correct. The defending champion is a Y. True or false, the Stanley Cup in ice hockey was donated by Stan Laurel of Lo Laurel and Hardy fame. False? Have to be, wouldn't it? Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Good start, Raj. Two from two, mate. How many gold medals did Cathy Freeman win at the 1994 Commonwealth Games? A, none. B, one. C, two. D, three. C? Correct. Question four of ten, first quarter action. True or false, the first three Cricket World Cups were held in the UK? True. Correct. <laughs> Which IBF title did Costa Zoo win in January 1995? A, junior welterweight. B, junior middleweight. C, junior lightweight. D, junior bantamweight. C? Incorrect, junior welterweight. First stumble of the night for the champ. True or false? Soccer player Vinnie Jones starred in the movie Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. True. 
Did you see it? Yeah, good movie. Correct. <laughs> Away you go. <laughs> what was the name of lone sailor Kay Cotty's yacht? A, lonely lady. B, pretty lady. C, first lady. D, lucky lady. C. Correct. <laughs> is that a guess? Yeah. Good <laughs> guess. True or false, dressage is named after Sir Louis Dressage. Uh, false. Correct. <laughs> Two to go, Raj, you're going well. Which Australian team member was arrested during the 1996 Atlanta Olympics prior to winning a gold medal? A, Kieran Perkins. B, Michael Diamond. C, Todd Woodbridge. D, Russell Mark. B. Incorrect. It was Todd Woodbridge. Apparently he got into an altercation with a female security guard. <laughs> Can't believe that. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. <laughs> True or false to finish this off? Water polo was so named because originally players rode floating barrels. True? Correct. Defending champion <laughs> is away. Good start, Raj. Eight on the board. You've left Daniel some chasing to do. Back to the champion's corner for you. Daniel, hit the hot seat. How did you go then against Raj? Pretty well. Yeah? Mm. You comfortable in the hot seat? Freezing. Oh, really? Mm. Most people say it's a little intimidating then. Nah, freezing. Okay. Bicycles, mate. Good luck, Daniel. Thank you. <laughs> Need it now, after that. <laughs> Here we go, mate. Who was the last Australian woman to win the singles title at the Australian Open Tennis Championships? A, Chris O'Neill. B, Wendy Turnbull. C, Yvonne Corley. D, Margaret Court. A, Chris O'Neill. He's backed it up with some actions. Chris O'Neill is correct. <laughs> the challenger is away. It is nice to get that first one isn't out it, of the way it, nice yeah. and early. Good start. True or false, Jeff Kennett was appointed president of the Hawthorne Football Club in 2005. False. Incorrect. True. Mm -hmm. In what year was the first Rugby World Cup held? A, 1967. B, 1976. C, 1987. D, 1978. C, 1987. Correct. <laughs> True or false, Brisbane won the last Rugby League Grand Final held at the SCG. False. Correct. It was Manly. Manly. They beat Canberra. 18 8. Which of these sports women has not competed at a Commonwealth Games? A. Bev Francis. D. Denise Annetts. C. Nicole Livingston. D. Julie McDonald. Denise Annetts. B is correct. Mm. True or false? In 2000, Sunline won the $2.4 million Hong Kong Mile. False. Incorrect. How old was Shane Gould when she won Olympic gold at Munich? A, 14. B, 15. C, 16. D, 17. B, 15. Correct. <laughs> yeah, real well, Daniel. Three to go. First round action in head-to-head. -head. True or false? The original Madison Square Garden Arena was built for cycling. True. Correct. Mm. Who won the first Grand Prix in Adelaide in 1985? A. Kiki Rosberg. B. Nigel Mansell. C. Ayrton Senna. D. Alain Prost. A. Kiki Rosberg. Correct. <laughs> it's going to be a contest tonight, I can feel it. True or false to finish us off in the first quarter action? Current Olympic gold medals are coated with a minimum six grams of pure gold. True. Correct. He's away. The challenger has issued a bold statement to Raj in the battle for the belt. Eight for you, Daniel. Back to the challenger's corner. Let's have a look at the leaderboard update, folks. The battle for the belt, the score at the end of the first quarter is locked together. Raj and Daniel, eight apiece. Does Nelson Mandela have any relationship with Don Bradman? Let's find out in Degrees from the Don. As the 
1963, Don Bradman came out of retirement to captain the Prime Minister's eleven for Robert Menzies, who supported the Carlton football team, which Ron Barassi joined as captain coach in 1965. Ron was instrumental in the Sydney Swans signing Paul Roos, who shares the same name with a former captain of the South African rugby union side. Another former captain of the Springboks is Francois Pinard, who received the 1995 Rugby World Cup trophy from Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela, degrees from the Don, six. It's time for the second quarter on Head to Head. <laughs> Enjoy this round two. You have two minutes to answer up to 20 questions on your special subject. Again, one point for a correct answer. No penalty whatsoever for a wrong answer. You can pass if you like. We'll return to the question if time permits. It's eight apiece at the moment. And Raj, the defending champion, hit the hot seat. <laughs> Australian Test cricket captains. <laughs> This could be a tough one. Yeah, there's been a few of them, but... <laughs> Two minutes on the clock. I don't need to tell you how important this round is. Your time starts now. Who captained Australia in three tests on Australia's last tour of India? Mark Taylor. Incorrect, Adam Gilchrist. Who scored a century in each innings in his first test as captain? Greg Chappell. Correct. Who was Australia's test captain when Don Bradman made his test debut? Pass. Who immediately preceded Don Bradman as captain? Bill Brown. Incorrect. Victor Richardson. Who was the first Australian captain to lead test tours of India, Pakistan and the West Indies? Bob Simpson. Incorrect. Ian Johnson. Who was the only Australian captain to take ten wickets in a test? Richie Benno. Incorrect. Alan Border. Who captained Australia for the first time in 1912, more than 21 years after playing his first test? Pass. Who led Australia in the first ever test at the Wacker? Pass. Who scored all 10 of his ten test match centuries while captaining Australia? Simpson. Correct. Which player has scored the most test centuries in tenure as Australian captain? Alan Border. Incorrect. Steve Waugh. Which future Australian captain competed at the 1956 Olympics? Pass. Who was the first Australian captain to score a test century? Murdoch. Correct. Which Australian captain was affectionately, affectionately known as Mary Ann? Pass. Who captained Australia for the only time in the first test between Australia and New Zealand? Pass. Who was the only Australian captain to lose five tests in one series? Bill Laurie. Incorrect, Graham Yallop. Who succeeded Richie Benno as captain? Uh, Bob Simpson. Correct. Who captained Australia for the only time in his last test match? Pass. Name either man who has led Australia in tests at neutral venues. Ian Chappell. Incorrect. Sid Gregory or Steve Waugh was what we were looking for. A little bit of a stumble from the champ. <laughs> Put your hands together though, Farage. What happened? I don't know why I chose that. <laughs> I'm not sure why I chose that category. <laughs> I know that the great thing about you, Raj, is that you've got a, a real ability when the pressure is on in head-to-head. -head. There's two rounds coming up, and I don't need to tell you that there's plenty of opportunities to fight back. So you hang in there. You passed on a few, and I know you need the answers at home, so I'll clear up the homework straight away. Hugh Massey captained Australia for the last time in his, uh, test, uh, for the first time in his last test match. Bill Brown captained Australia for the only time in the first test match between Australia and New Zealand. Mary Ann was Monty Noble. Brian Booth was the future Australian captain who competed at the 56 Olympics. Bill Laurie led Australia in the first test at the Wacker ground. It was Sid Gregory who captained Australia for the first time in 1912, more than 21 years after playing his first test. And Australia's test captain when Don Bradman made his test debut was Jack Ryder. Raj has got a big, big uh, job in front of him tonight to hold on to the belt. Back to the champion's corner for you, Raj. Daniel, hit the hot seat. OK, your special subject is the Soccer World Cup. Would have preferred um, Raj's topic. Did you go all right? Uh, yeah, not too bad. OK. Did you play soccer? Very badly. OK, more of a student of the game mm. than an exponent. 
Good luck, Daniel. Your two minutes starts now. Which city will host the 2006 World Cup final? Berlin. Correct. Reigning champions Argentina were humiliated by which nation in the opening match of the 1990 tournament? Cameroon. Correct. What was the first African country to appear at the tournament? Egypt. Correct. What was the first nation to lose successive finals? Netherlands. Correct. Who beat Germany to, Germany to claim the 1982 World Cup? Italy. Correct. Who was the only defending champion not to score a single goal in the tournament? France. Correct. Who was the only Australian referee at the 2002 tournament in Korea and Japan? Mark Shields. Correct. England manager Sven Goran Eriksson was born in which country? Sweden. Correct. Which nation qualified for the tournament at their first attempt in 1998 and won the playoff for third place? Croatia. Correct. What is the only nation to win both the Soccer World Cup and a Rugby Union World Cup? France. Incorrect. No. England. Brazil beat Italy to claim the 1994 World Cup. In which other year did the two countries contest the final? 1970. Correct. Who was credited with an own goal in Australia's 2-0 loss to East Germany at the 1974 tournament? Cole Curran. Correct. The award for the best goalkeeper in a World Cup is named after which player? Levy Ashen. Correct. Which country qualified in 1938 but did not take part because it no longer existed when the tournament began? Austria. Correct. Yugoslavia thrashed which nation 9-0 in a group match at the 1974 tournament? Honduras. Incorrect. Zaire. What was the name of the first World Cup mascot in 1966? Pommy. Incorrect. World Cup, Willie. <laughs> Which player won the Golden Boot Award at the 2002 World Cup? Ronaldo. Correct. Which nation defeated Australia in two matches in Cambodia to qualify for the 1966 tournament? Israel. Incorrect. North Korea. What popular crowd celebration made its first appearance? Mexican Wave. Correct. Who was the first player to be sent off in a World Cup final? Desolte. Incorrect, it was Pedro Monzon on the buzzer. That's probably the best performance we've seen on Head to Head. In the special subject round, hands together please for Daniel, the challenger from Carondale in Queensland. Wow. That was fantastic. You answered 15 questions correctly there. Thank you. And maybe Australian Test Captains is another special subject that will come your way we'll see should you go on and win the belt. Well done, Daniel. You've issued a real challenge to the champ. Back to the challenger's corner for you. Yeah. <laughs> He's a live one, but he seems to know his sport. It's half time in the battle for the belt, and the score is Daniel 23, leading the defending champion Raj on 12. Scottish Cup tie, a Broth versus Bonacord, 1885. A Broth snuck through 36 nil at home. For our Broth, John Petrie scored 13 goals. Another seven were disallowed for offside. Same day, same competition, Dundee Harp beat Aberdeen Rovers 35 nil. Sports psychologists working overtime. Time now for the third quarter on Head to Head. And here we go, the all-important Premiership quarter. Raj, if you go to make a move, you need to make it now. Our competitors will assume the buzzers and they will go head to head. Two minutes of questions. Still one point for a correct answer, but now there's a one-point penalty if you get it wrong. Let's put two minutes on the clock and we'll get started. Good luck, Raj. Good luck, Daniel. Your two minutes starts now. In which state was Peter Sterling born? Daniel. Queensland. Correct. Who was the first man to defeat Mike Tyson in a professional bout? James Buster Douglas, outside of the buzzer there. Which sports structure am I? In the 1880s, my grounds were a leisure park which included running tracks, football and cricket pitches, plus fountains and flowers. In 1869, Sir Edward Aitkins began construction of, of a huge four-legged tower at my site, which was never completed and was dynamited out of existence. My grounds then became an 18-hole golf course until, until my construction. I took just 300 days to complete and received four and a half million visitors as part of the 1924 Empire Exhibition. Daniel? The Crystal Palace. Incorrect. Site of many famous rock concerts and the FA Cup final, I am currently being rebuilt. With a name beginning with W, I am what stadium? Raj. Wembley. Correct. What sport was Bing Crosby playing when he died? Daniel. Golf. 
correct. Which team won the first Rugby League State of Origin match in 1980? Daniel. Queensland. Correct. Who am I? I was born in the USA in 1981 and came to Australia when I was nearly three. As a child, I excelled at cricket, which I played until I was 12. I was introduced to my chosen sport by my grandmother at the age of eight. I was offered a scholarship to the Victorian Institute of Sport and made history in 1999 when, as an amateur, I laughed and sang my way to victory in the Australian Open. I won again in 2000 before Daniel. Aaron Battle. Correct. Which A-League team plays home games at Hindmarsh Stadium? Raj. Adelaide United. Correct. The current Australian sprinter who spent his early years living on a fishing trawler is Patrick who? Raj. Johnson. Correct. Who won the Davis Cup in 2004? Daniel. Sweden. Incorrect. Spain. In what sport was Australia's Kevin Berry? Siren has sounded. I'll finish the question. The sport Australia's Kevin Berry, a world record holder, is swimming. Movement in the field, though, was a pretty good third quarter. Put your hands together for our competitors. <laughs> a little bit tougher when the pressure's on, Daniel. <laughs> How did you feel there? Um, still pretty good. OK, well, you've got a handy lead here. Let's have a look at the way it is at three-quarter time. The battle for the belt, and the challenger is leading the way. Daniel on 25, Raj on 15. <laughs> time for the fourth and final quarter on Head to Head. points for a correct answer in the final quarter. Two-point penalty for a mistake and we have a ten-point buffer with two minutes on the clock to sort out if Raj can hold on to the belt. How are you feeling, Raj? Oh, I've got a lot of work to do, but you, we'll see how we go. You do? With these two-point turnarounds, though, there's plenty of opportunities here for you. Daniel, don't be complacent, my friend. No. Still two minutes to here. go. Here we go. Your time starts now. Which US stadium hosted the final of the 1994 Soccer World Cup? Daniel. The Rose Bowl Pasadena. Correct. Which rugby league legend began and ended his run for parliament during a 2001... Daniel. Mel Meninga. Correct. In which sport are the New Zealand Breakers a team? Raj. Basketball. Correct. Which club did Norm Smith coach to... Daniel. Geelong. Incorrect. Melbourne. In which sport is Tora Bright a rising star? Snowboarding. What is the name of David Beckham's third son? Cruz. A best of how many sets decides a standard volleyball match? Raj. Seven. Incorrect. Five. NRL player Lance Thompson appears in which popular Australian singer's video clip? Shannon Knoll. In which cycling event do, do two teams begin at opposite sides of the track? Daniel. Pursuit. Teams pursuit. More... Correct. Which country did Eric the Eel represent at the... Daniel. Equatorial Guinea. Correct. At the 2003 Davis Cup final, the wrong national anthem was played for which country? Daniel. Spain. Correct. In what year was the centenary AFL grand final held? Daniel. 1996. Correct. At the end of 2005, what was Leighton Hewitt's world ranking? Daniel. Four. Correct. In the 2005 Tour de France, which Australian rider finished 11 minutes 55 seconds behind Lance Armstrong? Daniel. Cadell Evans. Correct. Which Manchester United player survived the Munich air disaster in 1958 to play 106 games for England? Bobby Charlton. Who succeeded surfer Wendy Botha to win the Women's World Championship title in 1990? Pam Burridge. In 2003, who became the oldest man to be ranked number one in tennis? Daniel. Andre Agassi. Correct. Grant Hackett's coach during the 2000s. Daniel. Dennis Cottrell. Correct. What nationality is tennis star Rafael Nadal? Can't answer that, Daniel. You didn't get in before the buzzer. That was a fantastic <laughs> final quarter from the challenger, though, and we have a winner. Let's go to the leaderboard for confirmation. Daniel blitzing it in the final quarter there. 43 points for the man from Carindale in Queensland. Raj back on 15. Daniel, our new champion on Head to Head. <laughs> Raj, I want to say you've been a great champion. Yep. You carved yourself a little slice of history on the show too. The first man to successfully defend his belt. Thanks for being a great uh, competitor. And we wish you well. Unfortunately, I have to send you back to the sheds. Thank you. Thanks for having me.
Raj leaves without the belt, but he does pick up a gift voucher to use at any ABC shop. Daniel, this is your moment. Congratulations. You've earned the right to hold up the head-to-head -head champion belt. Away you go. <laughs> and he's loving it too. Good on you, Daniel. Daniel will return next week to defend his title. We'll see you then. Good night.